So what I did record for the time lapse, I ended up not posting any of this, was the DFM process on these parts. Because the whole thing, I was basically just playing with radiuses and fillets and pocket cuts, and it ended up being kind of a boring time lapse. But what I thought I would do in this video is walk through the process of how to get some of these really cool, wild compound shapes on here. So it's super simple. So we'll, we'll take this one here. You can see how the radius at the beginning is big, and then it tapers off to be really small towards the end. And the way you do that in SolidWorks is you do what's called a variable fillet. That's a feature type. So it allows you to have different radiuses throughout the profile of the fillet. And you can also do an asymmetric property setting on here. So basically it gives you four dimensions to play with. So you have the radius on the bottom edge and the radius on the top edge on one side, and then the same thing over here, radius on the top edge and the bottom edge. So if I take this, one of these dimensions and increase it, you can see that radius drops down and changes the shape. Same thing on this one. This first radius is pretty small by comparison to the second one. And the second one, you can just keep increasing that size until it breaks and you can get this really cool airfoil shape on here. So that's basically what I did on these parts all over the place. 